Gaza. Kill the poor, the farmer. Ooh, people in this country are angry over this song. But me, as a white South African, I'm glad this happened. I'm glad. Let me tell you why. As a white person, when you see Julius Malema's face, you immediately think, Ah, oh, racist! Ah, oh, racist! You hate well white people! And I've got nothing to say to you, so whatever comes out of your mouth is just nonsense and just racist. Come now, be honest with yourself. I can be. I can tell you on the internet that I was one of those people. I'm not anymore. Julius Malema has managed to make the whole country go up in arms. It's made the DA do things it's never done before. It's making the ANC do things it's never done before. If a simple song has this much power, how much power can power actually be when people are doing their jobs? Did you ever consider for one second that Julius Malema is actually the one doing his job? Now you might tell me, Toro, but Julius Malema doesn't fight for the white people. He score does nothing for the white people. If you listen to what Julius Malema says, he says there's enough space here for everyone. He does not want the white person to be in a privileged position. He wants equal rights for everyone. He does not say white people need to leave or he is not saying genocide, genocide white people. That's not what he's saying. I will stitch a few videos at the end of this in Julius Malema's own words, and you can hear it for yourself. And remember, this information is available freely. Go look for it. Go look for it. Go find it yourself. And if you are not seeing it, it's not on your algorithm, then you are not looking for the answers. We as white people, we need to stop with this narrative where we tell black people that you need to listen to us, you need to, you are wrong, you are wrong, but then we, in return, are not willing to listen to them. That is not right. That is not right. We need to stop doing this. And I mean pointing fingers. Because look how many is pointing back at you. When you see a clip of Julius Malema, do yourself the favor and go look at the full clip. Because every single clip I've seen of Julius Malema, there's always more to the story. Every single time. But let Mr. Julius Malema tell you himself in his own words. You hear kill the boor and then you're going to listen to what I'm going to post now. And you tell me in the comments if you still think Julius Malema wants white genocide or he's pushing that narrative. Please tell me in the comments if you still feel the same way. I'm curious to know. Oh damn, I forgot. It doesn't allow me to stitch videos when I stitch. So I'll make another video. So go to part two and you'll go watch the videos that I'm talking about where Julius Malema speaks.